is up lego fans today i'm gonna be reviewing lego harry potter number four privet drive this set is pretty cool like this was one of the sets um i got for christmas um but this was totally unexpected it arrived late it was from my grandma and grandpa and i had no idea i was actually gonna get um this or i was even gonna get another present from them but i did and this set is really cool um and i forgot to mention in my other video but um the forbidden forest um was the present i said i um that would arrive late um in uh late for christmas but yeah anyway so let's start off with the minifigures first up we have uncle vernon i really like this um uncle vernon minifigure it looks really good um this is the first time we're getting this hair piece in a light gray um which looks really nice um and I really like um, how they did his expression there. Like, that looks really good. And then he's got a really happy expression um, there, um, which also looks pretty good. Um, and I really like the dimples by his eyes. That makes his expressions look really well. Um, I believe this is a new print for his torso here, but I am not sure. It might be just a reuse of something else um, we have in a Lego form. Um... Nothing on the back here, but I really like the front of his sweater. It looks really nice. And then just plain tan legs. Um, but, yeah. Next minifigure we have Aunt Petunia. Um, I really like her um, torso print here. It looks really good. Um, and then I believe this is... Um, I believe this is the same hair piece they use for Umbridge. Um, just in a darker color. Um... But just the torso with the leaves on it looks really nice. Um, the white and then like the fall leaves. And then she's got like a dark red legs. And then on the back, you've got some more leaves, um, which looks really nice. And then she's got that expression. And then a super mad or mean expression there. Um, that one just looks a bit stern there. But next minifigure, Dudley Dursley. Um, I really like how they made this minifigure. He's wearing, the, um, his sweater here, which looks really nice. I really like the white pattern going on it. it looks really cool. Um, the back's got more of that white pattern. Um, I really like the cuff here with the blue. Um, and then he's got, like, a little line there for his belly. Um, <laughs> and then he's got, um, like, the dark nugget, nugget color, um, short legs. And then he's got this sneering expression um, with Emmett's hairpiece. And then he's also got this, oh no, I fell in through the glass into a pyth I snake's um, pit. <laughs> ah, I'm in water. Get me out. <laughs> um, but I really like his um, expressions. So they look really nice. Um, next minifigure. Um, I really like um, his torso print. It's the same from Whomping Willow, but it's just a nice one to have. Plain, short black legs. Um, I don't think they've ever done printing on short legs, except for, like, a few doom-molded doom ones. Um, but that was that's very few of them. Um, but, like, very few printing on short legs. Um, and then, this is the exact same one we got in Whomping Willow. Um, 2018 headpiece. Um, and same hairpiece from 2018 as well. So, just another Harry Potter to get. And I've got a bunch of Harrys. <laughs> If you're a Harry Potter collector, you probably do. Um, Harry comes in every set except for one, I believe. Um, then there's also Ron from the second um, year um, here. Um, this was also in the Whomping Willow set. Um, but I really like his torso print. Um, it's in the Christmas Carol promo set, um, which I got for Christmas as well. Um, and I will do a review on shortly. Plain brown legs. And then some nice printing on the back as well. And then he's got the happy face. And then the oh, no, the spider's face. Okay, so let's move on to the final minifigure, which is Dobby. Very cute Dobby. I love this Dobby minifigure. Um, this is one of the dual molded short legs actually here. Um... And then it's the same torso from the 2018 series, but I never got Dobby in that. Um, so I really like this minifigure. It's my first Dobby. Um, and it's really cute. I really like it. Um, and then I, and then this is um, 
and I believe the legs were also in the 2018 one. But I really like the um, head. It's all new, and um, it's got a super big smile, which looks really good. Um, I really like it. So that is the Dobby. So now let's move on to some little tiny builds this thing comes Our with. Our first tiny build here um, is a little cake, which you can make float um, from the second or the third. I can't remember, but one in one of them, Dobby um, uses like some sort of force to make a cake cover over um, someone's head and fall on it. But I can't really remember who it was. Um, I haven't read the second and the third for a bit, um, but I really like the design of the cake. Um, it looks really nice um, and just a super simple way to make a cake, but it looks really good. Um, and you can like take the cake off this little clear thing. This thing is good for stop motions, um, holding stuff up, but the cake looks pretty good. Um, second little build is this little prove it drive thing. Um, it looks really nice. It's just a sticker, um, pretty basic build. And then you put this little owl here. Um, but I like it. So moving on to the set itself. Um, yep, you can see there's Hedwig up here on a part of the set, which came off. Um, but here is Hedwig. Yeah, but yeah, Hedwig. I have a bunch of the flying Hedwigs. Um, but... So let's check out the Ford Angler here. This Ford Angler is a bit different than the one we got in the Whomping Willow um, set, but it's pretty similar. I actually have the one from the Whomping Willow set right here. Um, so we can do a little comparison. Um, they're both the exact same length. Um, I believe this one uses more pieces, it looks like. Um, you can notice some differences in the back. Um, you can notice some differences in the front as well. Like for that um, spot, sides, you can also see some differences. Um, this one's got like printing. Um, well, I guess they both have printing on those doors. Um, but that one's got like a sticker there and that one doesn't really have much there. And then that is just one piece to do that um, part. And this is two pieces. Um, so there's quite a few differences um, that you, um, are able to spot, but they're both flying Fords, so they're both pretty cool. So let's check out the new flying Ford um, that comes in this set. Um, I really like the design of it. It looks pretty good. Um, I really like um, how they do the mirrors here. That looks really good. Um, and then you can open the doors as well, um, like that. And then you can also remove the roof to fit some minifigures inside there. There's a little steering wheel and then pop back on the roof. And then I really like the detailing on the front. Um, that looks really good. Um, and then the bottom is pretty plain, but yeah. And then you can open up the bottom of the trunk um, and you can reveal um, a little suitcase and this chain. And you can attach the chain to this window up here and you pop it onto the top um, and then you can Put this down and rip it off um, when you are saving Ron, is, Ron, Fred, and George are saving Harry from Privet Drive. So that is the Flying Ford. Let's move on to number four, Privet Drive itself. Okay, so here is number four, Privet Drive. Um, it looks really good. Um, I really like how this sticker on the front has the envelopes um, in the mail slot, like um, getting um, blocked out because Uncle Vernon has boarded up the door there. Um, but um, the exterior of it looks really good. Um, I really like this little bush here. That looks really good. Um, and just the de all the detail looks really nice. And then you've got this little stickered stud with a four on it. And then you've got some flowers. Um, and then you've got like this gutter that runs up the house. Um, then you've got some windows all over here. And I really like um, how they did the roof. Um, I just like all the detail and stuff. It looks really nice. Um, and then, so let's start checking out the interior. Um, so first part of the interior is right here. Um, you can open it up to reveal um, Harry's little um, spot under in his like first, um, I believe first year um, at, um, 
and um, he lives under the stairs, but um, there's this little um, shovel and um, broom. And then inside, um, you've got a little bed, which looks really nice. And then you've got some like toys on the walls there. And there's a little rocking horse in there, um, which they make it look like it's Lego, um, but it's like just a little toy horse. And then you've got like the Lego stud there and some nano figures as well. So moving on to the back of the set, let's spin this around. Um, at the downstairs floor, um, there is some pretty cool um, chairs down here, um, purple chair and then a purple couch. And a cool feature um, is if you turn that little knob there, um, envelopes will fall from the fire like that. And then to reload the envelopes, you take the envelopes and you spin it around to this side here and you load them in through here. Um, this little slot um, makes it so you can reload the letters and if you don't close it, they it will slide through. Like I forgot to close it there. Um, so I'll show you that feature one more time. Okay, so here is the feature. Sometimes it gets jammed here, but they mainly work. Um, so you've got a little picture of the Dursleys um, family here and a little lamp back in the corner. And then if you go up the stairs, You've got Harry's um, second bedroom. Um, you've got a little four poster here. Um, and as you can see, there is um, a little owl with some like um, cards it looks like. And then there's um, a little um, Hogwarts um, picture there. And then there's also a chocolate fo frog um, card. And then there's also here a Gryffindor flag. So up, up at the top, You've got a little um, chair and a desk here with a picture of Harry's parents. And then you've got Harry's bed and a um, um, printed tile of the boy who lived. Um, so here, that is mainly it for um, Privet Drive. Um, it looks really nice. I really like all the detail on it. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.